In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some awesome Christmas DIYs that you can do using some of Dollar Tree's scrap wood. You do not want to miss, so let's jump in. Hi my friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today and spending some time with me. I'm super excited to show you today's DIYs, my first video to start off and kick off Christmas DIYs. These turned out all gorgeous and the great thing is we use Dollar Tree scrap wood pieces. I really love picking up their scrap wood pieces because there's just a lot of stuff you can do with them. And I love working with wood. So here I'm going to have uh, three different DIYs to show you for this Christmas season. Um, I have one of their scrap wood planks that you can see here. And I'm just giving it a nice coat of this white paint i do want the paint to look a little bit distressed distressed so i'm going to go over it with my sand block because i ended up putting a little bit too much on my brush so it did get a little bit heavy coated so i'll just go over it with my sand block afterwards just to get those you know those nooks and crannies of the wood grain to show through and i really like how that looks so it can look a little bit washed up and you know just old and vintage so i'm gonna do that once that is done, I'm going to take this felt cutout of this stocking. This is super cute. They come in a pack of six or eight, I believe, from Dollar Tree. And they do have different ones. They have the stockings. They have some of Christmas trees. Um, they are very cute. So I'm going to hot glue this down to the wooden sign. And I'm not going to put glue on the middle on the top of the stocking because I want to place something down in there. So I'm just going to leave that open on the top and just press it down really nicely as you can see there i did place it a bit on an angle so that way it can look like it's hanging and i did place it towards the bottom because i am going to place something inside of the stocking so i don't want it to take to stick out of the sign on the top so now i'm going in with this candy cane ish looking ribbon from dollar tree and i made a cute little bow and i'm just gonna hot glue it down to the top of my stocking because i thought that would be super cute on top and make it look really nice and pretty so i just did that and i made my tails look pretty um and i did also place some hot glue under the bows the two uh, loops of the bow so that way it doesn't move too much and it can stay nice and down for us and you know it can be good to go so i did that to both sides and then i want to go on with this frosted greenery from dollar tree i'm just going to clip off a few maybe three or four so that way i can stick down inside of the stocking if you want you could place a little bit of hot glue to the ends of the greenery i didn't do that i just stuck them in and it's perfectly fine because i didn't want to put hot glue in case i want to change them out to different greenery sometime maybe so i just stuck them down in there and it was completely fine and good to go and i think it's looking really beautiful i also added some different greenery just to give it some contrast in between colors and to make it look a little bit more full and i just um placed that down along in there and just fixed it up in between the frosted greenery and it is looking super cute and then the last thing i do for this sign is i take two pine cones and i hot glue it down to the bottom of the bow where the tails are because i thought it would make it look really pretty as well just a nice little pair of pine cones on the bottom of my bow and that was it i added a hanger to the back using some jute string so you are able to hang this up and that was it. I really love this DIY. It turned out super cute and adorable. And I just love the simplicity and high-end look of it. Let me know what you think, my friend. Next up, we're going to be taking these two little square wood planks. These are a bit thicker and more sturdier. I love them. I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to place them together using some e6000 and hot glue um i'm using e6000 but you can use wood glue if you have it um i'm gonna press them together really nice and tight because i want to make one full bigger sign and once that is nice and pressed together i am going to give it a nice coat of this white paint and i'm going to paint the front back the sides everything and let it dry really well 
my friend i hope your week is going great so far let me know how it's been for you what have you been up to and if you have plans for this upcoming weekend i do not think i will be going anywhere i will be home it is getting chilly where i live and but i absolutely love this weather i love the fall weather and the chilliness and being able to wear my sweater and everything like that um but anyway going back to the sign we are now done painting and it is nice and dry and you can see i did paint it distressed as well um because i just love how distressed pieces look especially for certain type of pieces when i want them to look vintage and just you know very old and stuff like that i just love the look of it so i tend to do a lot of my signs distressed but you really don't have to you can completely paint it full coverage then i'm gonna go in with this little chalkboard sign you can find these at dollar tree and i'm gonna leave the hanger that's on it because you can then use it to just hang up the entire sign once it's done um i just use hot glue but you can use the a6000 so i can give it a nice stronger hold and I'm going to press that down there really nicely. And then, um, my friend, if you don't have or can't find this little chalkboard sign, you can use these little chalkboard um, tags that you can get from Dollar Tree as well if you do not find the signs. So it'll work out just fine. You just need something of chalkboard so you are able to write afterwards. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this window cling. This is from a pack that's old. I'm not sure if they have the same ones this year, but I'm pretty sure you can find one that you would like to add onto your sign. I'm gonna add it using some Mod Podge and I'm putting a nice thin layer down and then just press down my window cling and try to smooth out all of the bubbles. So if you can't tell already, this is going to be a Christmas countdown sign and it turned out absolutely adorable and this is perfect for if you have little kids and they love counting down to the days uh, till Christmas. This is absolutely perfect and so easy to make my friend. Literally everything is from Dollar Tree and you cannot beat that. The only thing that is not from Dollar Tree, but you don't have to use these specific sticker letters that I'm using. These are from Hobby Lobby. Um, but you can see the ones that are off there to the side. Those are from Dollar Tree. So you can use either one that you want. I'm going to write and spell out days till Christmas. So I'm just going to go one by one and try my best to place it down as evenly as possible and nice and straight. I do like to eyeball these kind of things. I don't know why, but you can use a ruler to really get them straight if you are, you know, wanting to get it really perfect. But um, I just try my best and eyeball it. Once I get them placed down, I do press them down nice and firmly. And I go over it with a nice layer of Mod Podge just to really seal everything in and make sure it will not come off. And then I want to decorate up the little chalkboard sign. So I'm going to hot glue down two pieces of that frosted greenery. I just put a line of hot glue to the bottom of the sign and then I press them down together placing the ends together and then pressing it down and then i'm also going to go in with this little snowman greenery piece that it came off of a dollar tree ornament i had it left over from one of them breaking so i just saved this and i thought it was perfect for the center there and then i'm gonna go in with a couple little snowflakes of the window clings and then that is it my friends and look how adorable this looks and so easy it was to make i really love it and it is so fun for the kids or even just yourself if you want to count down for christmas i know i love it you would have to let me know what you think and go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up right now if you are enjoying today's DIYs. It does help out my channel and to help reach new viewers. I really do appreciate it, my friend. Now for the third DIY, I'm going to go in with these two wooden boxes from Dollar Tree, of course. I want to place them together. So I'm going to take some E6000 and some hot glue and just really press that together. Um, and I also placed down a clip just to really get those nice and tight because sometimes the E6000 does take longer than the hot glue to dry and you don't want it to kind of spread apart in that process. So just leave the clip on it and then I'm going to paint this entire thing in this beautiful red paint. I'm going to paint the entire thing, um, the back, the sides and the edges inside and I'm going to let that dry really well. I really love this paint. I really wanted a bright and in your face red for that perfect Christmas color and this one is just perfect. So 
once I get it nice and painted and dried, you can see here I painted everything except for the insides of the boxes. And that's because I want to add this beautiful plaid paper. This is from a scrapbook pack at Hobby Lobby. And I love how this one looks. I think it's perfect for this DIY. I'm just going to kind of pinch it along the edge there so I can see where I need to cut for the size. And then I'm going to measure out with my rulers so I can get the size for the inside of the box. And we're going to, pla we're going to place this paper down using some Mod Podge to both sides of the entire um, sign or box. I found this paper to go on pretty easy without having any bubbles. Um, it does make a difference when the paper you are laying down is smaller than being bigger. When it's smaller, it tends to be way easier to place down without any bubbles. Just like here, it was really easy to lay down. And I do still like to take my Cricut tool um, to kind of scrape it and really get it nice and smooth onto the surface. Uh, that just makes it nice and, you know, and easy and better for you. So that way you can make sure there's no bubbles that you are not seeing and missing out um so i do take that and i scrape it really nicely and then we're going to go ahead and add the other one into the box just like that with some snap magic now i'm going to go in with this nautical rope or just rope from dollar tree and i'm going to place it around the edges of the both boxes because i really want it to look nice and rustic and just um give it a nice decorative touch around the edges and this will also hide any imperfections if let's say you didn't cut the paper to the right size no one will ever ever notice so you can just place this around if you don't like the brown one they do also have a white one but the white one is a little bit thicker so you can use that one or use this one that i have here i'm just taking my hot glue gun and i'm going all the way around each of the edges and i'm going to do that to both of the boxes then i thought how cute would it be to have little bells hanging from each of the boxes and um so these are from dollar tree i just put a little bit of juice string through the top of them and double knotted it because i wanted to i want to make sure that they're nice and tight and won't fall off so i double knot it and i even add a little dot of hot glue on top of the knot just to really make sure it's good to go and then i want to hang it on the top of my box so what i do is i just place a little bit of hot glue to the top of that box i flipped it over so it's more easier to lay down the bells and then i just press down the string just as you see here and then when you flip it back over they will hang so i really love that and i think it looks super cute and to make it even more sturdy and more stable i do take a little bit of ribbon and i run it across that string just to make sure that it's not gonna fall off since you know we are placing it with some hot glue you just want to make sure that it's nice and stuck for you and we'll be good to go for the long term now we're gonna take this big old beautiful wooden star from Dollar Tree and I want to place it right on top of these boxes so I'm gonna place down a nice amount of hot glue to the um the edges of the star because we really want it to stay stuck and there's not much that it can hold on from so you just really need a nice amount of hot glue going around the entire legs of the star and then you can see here i have a little bit of support for now i place my sand block behind it just so i can hold it while i add my frosted greenery to the front and not only is this frosted greenery going to look pretty and add decoration but it's also going to make the star even more sturdy because it is getting hot glued to the greenery and to the box as well even more everything is going to be hot glued together so it makes it nice and sturdy so i just place down a nice amount of hot glue and then i press down my greenery and these are just two stems and then i go ahead and i place two more stems to the back of the star because i want the back of it you know to have greenery as well and look nice and cohesive and then we can remove that little sand block from the back so we can go ahead and add the greenery to the back side you just want to make sure my friend that when you are placing down that greenery you press it against the legs of the star so that way it can make it nice and stable and stand up straight so that way you know it can be all as i said all hot glued together and it could be made into one piece and nice and stable so i'm just going to do that now and you can see just how i press it together nice and firmly here um 
against each other like that and once it's on there it's looking absolutely gorgeous i do add a little bit of red berries along with this beautiful joy sign from dollar tree and then that was it my friend and look how gorgeous and high-end looking this diy turned out i really love it this one is my favorite from today i just love everything about it it looks super beautiful you would have to let me know what you think my friend and if you would give this a try it was super easy to make and such a nice um high-end look that you end up getting i appreciate you being here and stopping by and your support always my friend don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite from today and give this video a big like for me and consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be a part of my youtube family i would love to have you i will see you all on the next one take care god bless bye